currently in New Zealand. Prepare to be awestruck by the performers, facial expressions when observing a haka performance. They will flash their eyes and protrude their tongues. Because of their facial expressions, they appear menacing or intimidating. In addition, the performers, chins are adorned with black paintings. It appears even more frightening. In addition to their frightening facial expressions, the dancers were prepared to rock the audience's feet with stomping feet, body claps, and loudly sung songs. When performing, haka performers are absolutely flawless. Very evocative, highly elated. The haka dance performance is guaranteed to be thrilling when accompanied by tayaha, a type of weapon, and padu mace. The haka ritual will be performed with passionate displays of tribal or group pride, strength, and cohesion. In the haka dance, the Maori always imply various words, movements, characteristics, and even meanings based on what has occurred. In New Zealand, the haka is frequently performed at important events such as burials, weddings, boisterous games, school celebrations, and the welcoming of prominent figures such as Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The haka is an ancient Mori war dance that is traditionally performed on the battlefield and when different groups convene in peace. Maori were the first inhabitants of New Zealand, also known as Aotearoa, which translates to, land of the white clouds. Accompanying the loud chanting are loud foot stomps, tongue thrusts, and rhythmic body claps. The poetic lyrics of the haka dance frequently depict the tribe's progenitors and historical events. The Maori tribe is an indigenous tribe from New Zealand that continues to exist today and coexists with other residents. Maori make up approximately 14% of New Zealand's population. Approximately 1,000 years ago, the Maori tribe arrived in New Zealand from Hawaii by canoe. This people's history, language, and traditions define New Zealand's identity. The haka dance, which is performed prior to going to combat, is typically performed when Maori tribe members gather. The haka dance is a performance that demonstrates ardent passion, pride, strength, and tribal cohesion. This dance features strong hand movements, noisy foot stomping, tongue protrusion, and thigh slapping in rhythm with loud chants. While performing the haka, pakana, or facial expressions, are also essential to executing the haka dance, as they are a defining characteristic of Maori performances. Expressions on the dancer's face serve to emphasize lyrics that convey the passion of the dancer. For instance, the men smiled, thrust their tongues out, and glared, while the women dance with their eyes wide open or jawline tattoos on display. Even if they appear frightening, frightening, or menacing, pakana expresses intense and profound emotions. The haka is still performed at important events, such as Maori ceremonies and celebrations, to honor visitors and demonstrate the significance of an occasion. Today, the haka is performed at a wide variety of ceremonies. The performance is performed for greeting dignitaries, birthdays, weddings, anniversaries, and funerals of prominent leaders and individuals. Almost every New Zealander can perform the haka. Historically, it was restricted to the Maori community, but it has since become widespread. This is something that many children learn early on in education, regardless of whether or not they are Maori. Hakas in athletics. Eventually, the haka was also employed to challenge opponents on the sports field. The All Blacks, the New Zealand rugby team, perform the haka dance and chant before every game as a remarkable display of physical fortitude. The All Blacks haka, Ka Mate, was created by the Rangara, Maori leader, Chief Te Raupuraha in the 1820s and was originally a war cry. Since becoming a part of the All Blacks preliminary ritual, this haka's lyrics have gained widespread recognition around the globe. Since 1905, the New Zealand rugby union team, known as the All Blacks, has upheld this tradition, which began in 1888-1889 with the touring indigenous New Zealand football team. Before 1986, they only played away contests. New Zealand's women's rugby team, the Black Ferns, are also known for their energetic haka performances. The haka performed prior to international matches is titled, Ko Uhia Mai, which means, let it be known, and was composed by Wedu Tipawai. The All Blacks and Black Ferns are able to honor their cultural origins and traditions through regular haka waiata practices. Additionally, the Ka Mate haka is performed at the funerals of prominent figures and to greet foreign dignitaries. However, in 2005 they introduced a newer version titled Kappa O Pango, 
which was exclusive to the All Blacks rugby team and appeared only in select matches. When New Zealand takes the pitch today, it is impossible to predict which iteration of the haka they will perform.